So picture a time, maybe it's even now, when you've been preparing for something big, like an interview, event, presentation, the release of some creative endeavor, and now notice how much mental, physical, and emotional energy you put into it. Has it been a lot? Perhaps too much? Do you find yourself stressing and obsessing about it? So where is the line between healthy preparation and perfectionism and obsessing? This was a line I came face to face with recently as I was preparing to give two big talks at very high profile companies where some of the most brilliant minds in the world work. I was incredibly excited and a little intimidated to create some new talks and workshops, yet I found myself really challenged by how much pressure I was putting on myself that I was calling preparation. Can you relate to this? Do you find yourself spending a lot of time preparing for everything from a job interview to having people over for a party to a date? Do you have a tendency to over-rehearse, script things in your head, research for days, and so on? What I realized is after spending hours and hours and hours preparing is that at some point I crossed the line from being inspired to prepare from the value-based standards I set for myself to pushing myself with massive expectation. Luckily, a very annoying twitch in my right temple got my attention. I, I was thinking way too much. It was way too much in my head. So I sat in meditation and realized I was coming from fear, not love. And then the aha came. Over-preparation and overdoing in general is fear in disguise. A little fear is normal when we stretch outside our comfort zone or do something new. And sure, it's important to do everything in our power to do our best to fulfill our goals, but it's just as important to know when enough is enough, when it's time to stop. When it's time to back off, step away from the computer, stop editing, tweaking, stop rehashing and rehearsing. When we're in manic mode, there's no room for magic. If we don't get out of the way, the universe cannot work on our behalf. You know, if we're so tunnel visioned in our preparation, then where's room for miracles? So some tips for you if you're preparing for something. First, just, just mind dump. Just get it all out. Don't edit yourself. Just Put everything on paper or note cards or however, poster board, whatever you want to do. And then walk away from it. Take a break. Get some fresh air. Exercise. Go see a movie. Whatever it is. And then come back and start to edit it, tweak it, finesse it, fine tune it. Maybe that's when you get some input or research. You collect some more information. And then take a break again. And then come back to it. Put your final touches on it and then let it go. At some point, you have to realize you've done enough. Do you not trust yourself? Do you not trust the universe? Do you doubt the competency of your guides and your own inner wisdom? Dedication, focus, enthusiasm are gifts, but unless they're properly utilized, they can undermine even our best intentions. Just as we need to survive, too much will weigh us down and negatively impact our vitality. So let's not gorge on perfectionism. Let's do heart work instead of so much hard work. You know, once I let go and trusted myself, minor wisdom, and God, the magic happened. I visualized all the people in the room and how I could serve them best rather than impress them. Because sometimes we're a little too focused on impressing someone than serving them and really showing up authentically. Both talks went phenomenal because I focused on how I wanted the people to feel during and after my talk. I stopped making it about me. I swapped preparation for prayer. God helped me get out of my way and use me as an instrument. So ask your higher power, your inner wisdom, your guides, whatever you want to call it, for the courage to let go. Get in magic mode rather than manic mode. You know who will oversee your success? Your higher power. You can rest. Let go and hand over over responsibility and over preparation. Let the universe work overtime on your behalf. Rest, relax, because you know when enough is enough. You're ready. You got this. 